days, we shooters have been blessed with a great many fine 9mm semi-automatic pistols to choose from. This is a convergence of technology and political expediency and uh, economics and whatever, but uh, there's a whole lot of fine 9mm pistols on the market these days. It's a good day to be alive if you, if you enjoy these kind of things. And one of my very favorites has, since they brought it out has been the Smith & Wesson M&P. This one here is a really, really nice pistol. It's one that I'm really excited about, and I don't get excited about 9mm all that often. This is the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 OR Spec Series Kit. This pistol to begin with is a very good looking pistol. It is uh, a two-tone pistol. The, uh, the grip is uh, black polymer. The slide is stainless steel finished in a flat dark earth. It's really a nice contrast. The uh, uh, controls, the sights and whatnot are black. It just really pops out against the pistol. The slide is really nicely contoured. It's uh, made so that it doesn't want to go your hands or anything when you're operating it, but it also looks neat. It's very streamlined looking. It has uh, cocking serrations fore and aft, and the serrations are kind of kind of wavy, serrated like, and it's, it really looks good and it's very functional. The grip is polymer, but the uh, the frame itself that rides inside the polymer is steel, so it's still riding on steel. You don't have to worry about any kind of weakness or any kind of uh, wear factor or anything in that. This is going to be a very tough pistol. It's going to outlast your grandkids. The polymer grip is very nicely designed. It's really slender for a pistol that holds 17 rounds. We'll get to that. But uh, it's very nicely stippled in panels, and it's a, a very nice aggressive stippling, but it's not so aggressive that it wants to abrade your hand. But it really does aid in the only kind of gun control that we ought to be talking about, and that's keeping the gun in your hand while you're shooting it. The forward part of the of the polymer grip area is uh, it's got a rail under it. It's a uh, pick spec compatible, and uh, you can mount any number of weapon lights or lasers or whatever kind of things you feel like putting under there. It's very nicely designed, and it's very sleek and streamlined. As has become familiar on the Smith & Wesson M&P pistols, the grip portion of, of the back of the grip it has interchangeable back straps. There are four of them included with this pistol. Using the interchangeable inserts, the grip can be made to fit the shooter's hand so that your finger, trigger finger is positioned perfectly to align beside the trigger and to put the, the, the pad of your finger on the trigger just as you're supposed to. And it just feels wonderful to the hand. It feels like shaking hands with an old friend instead of grabbing a 2x4 or something unnatural like a lot of the 9mm pistols do these days. The barrel is Smith & Wesson's Armor Knight black finish. It really contrasts nicely with the flat dark earth slide. The end of the barrel, the barrel is 4.6 inches long, and the end of it is threaded for a suppressor, and it includes a knurled steel thread protector, so you don't have to use a suppressor on this thing, but you can if you want to. The pistol is striker fired, and there is no external safety lever. You don't need one. I don't really want one. I, I, it's just the simpler you can make these things, the better. Already has two safeties in it. It's got an internal striker block safety. And it also has the trigger safety that we've become familiar with. The sights on this pistol are very nice. They're steel. They're high profile suppressor height sights, and they they're a three dot pattern. They really work wonderfully. They really pop out at you in high lighting conditions, but. Even in darkness, you're going to see those three dots, and it's really a nice set of sights. Night sights are a big thing to me. you got to be able to see your sights in all different lighting conditions, and nighttime is when the bad guys usually come out, so you really need night sights on the pistol. As those of you who have ever had to add a set of night sights to a pistol know, they're not cheap. These uh, these sites here, if you were to buy them on the open market, will cost you well over $100, I imagine, to get a set of nice steel sites like these. They're drift adjustable, both the front and back, and they're really high quality sites with tritium in them. That's not a cheap thing, and it really adds a lot to the value of the pistol. On top of the excellent set of open sites, the pistol is optics ready, and the optics plate system that they use on this it comes with seven different plates and it's hard to imagine that there's a there's a side out there that's not going to work with this however this one comes with a very nice sight as part of the or spec kit this is the crimson trace model cts 1500 
and it's it's a really nice sight it's a uh, it's lightweight it's compact the uh, brightness automatically adjusts itself in bright light conditions there's no switches or anything to fumble with it's automatically on when you pull it out and to turn it off you just need to turn the light off and to do that they give you this little plastic cover to put on it it protects the sight when it's not in use and it also uh, the lack of light inside there turns the light sensor off because it's got a photo sensor in there that's how it automatically brightens and dims itself depending on your lighting conditions so when you turn the light off with this cover it's going to turn that off and save your battery it's a very very nice little sight I was really pleased with it. It's very easy to pick up. It's really hard to miss with it. It really just, it's amazing how well this thing shoots with this little Crimson Trace sight on it. I've always liked Crimson Trace products, and this is no exception. It's a great sight, and it comes with this pistol. The uh, retail price on the sight alone is $179, so that adds a great deal to the fine value of this OR spec kit. The trigger on this pistol is a very nice trigger it's articulated so it's got the safety in it but the it's uh it really is a wonderful trigger the trigger pull on this pistol as measured on my lima digital trigger pull gauge was only three pounds 8.3 ounces so that's right at three and a half pounds which is a very nice combat style trigger and it's the trigger has no over travel to it it's a very smooth very even feeling trigger it's not gritty it's just it's a very nice little trigger and the reset of the slide is only about five sixteenths of an inch so this this thing's just really easy to operate really easy to shoot really easy to shoot well with the number two back strap installed which is the one that i feel best fit in my hand the trigger reach from the uh, back strap where it meets the meteor hand to the front of the trigger at rest is just over two and a half inches 2.614 inches and that's somewhat adjustable by changing your back strap out the trigger take up which is the amount of travel between you and contact the trigger to when you meet the resistance to get ready to pull it is a little bit less than a quarter inch and the trigger travel itself is about an eighth of an inch and there's no over travel to it it's a very nice trigger that just about anybody will find to be extremely comfortable and the back strap lets you adjust it tune it to your hand even better the magazine it includes two magazines and they're 17 round magazines so you've got an 18 round fully loaded capacity this technology is a wonderful thing they can they can pack that much ammo in a pistol that feels as natural as this one does in the hand it's a great thing and they include two of the 17 round magazines with this pistol kit the or spec series kit also includes a very nice little boot knife it's a fixed blade four and a half inches nine inches overall length with a black oxide single edge spear point and a molded nylon sheath it's a very nice looking knife it really makes a nice complement to the pistol it's the same color as the pistol just really looks nice with the pistol and for those of you who appreciate such things and i do it's not a huge deal but i do kind of collect them there is a challenge coin that comes with this series and it's it's a really nice antique nickel finish with a high relief 3d uh, designs on each side of it it's a really nice Cohen it comes in a clear acrylic case it's a nice little keepsake from the OR spec series kit the whole kit comes in a hard plastic compartmentalized custom fit case for the gun and all its accoutrements everything is in the case and custom fit with its own little slots in there it's just a very nice case to complete the kit Federal's 115 grain high shot jacketed hollow point is a good all-around load for self-defense it's a well-designed bullet they are relatively inexpensive and they're starting to become available again. You go to Lucky Gunner and see what they got. They're, they're a really good outfit to buy ammunition from. Stepping up a little bit in power, we've got the 115 grain TCX load from Defiant Munitions. They uh, clock this at 1275, so it's screaming out of there pretty good. It's a good, effective self-defense load.
step up in power is Buffalo Boar's 147 grain Outdoorsman Plus P hard cast bullet. Not all semi-autos can reliably feed these, but this little smith has no problem. When it comes to getting the maximum power that you can get out of any given load, nobody does it better than Tim Sundles at Buffalo Board. Jeff used to say that uh, Tim would never cheat you on the amount of powder he puts in the case. He gets all of it in there that he can. This load is a good example of that. It's their 147 grain plus P plus uh, jacketed hollow point. It's doing about 1175 feet per second. It is just a dandy load for self-defense. Current MSRP on the OR spec kit is $969, and that's quite a bargain considering everything you get. You get a fine pistol with a custom two-tone finish. It's a really good-looking pistol. You get the suppressor height night sights. You get the crimson trace optic. You get the, the boot knife, which is really very nicely made knife. You get the challenge coin. You get the custom case. Everything comes together in a nice, well-made, well-presented kit, and the MSRP is only $969. Smith & Wesson really hit it out of the park with this one. To find a dealer in your area who can get you one of these, get on Lipsy's website at lipsys.com and click on the dealer finder. It'll give you a list of dealers in your area. If you want to buy one of these online, there's a little bit different procedure for doing that. You go to Davidson's uh, galleryofguns.com, click on the gun genie there, and you give them your location, and they'll have dealers in your area contact you with competitive bids to let you buy this pistol at your local dealer like you normally would do, all the regular paperwork and everything. Anything the government wants to saddle you with this week, they, they'll tell you exactly how much it's going to cost you to get this gun out the door and into your hot little hands. Another really cool thing about this OR Spec Series kit, so I've checked on Lipsy's and Davidson's both, they are readily available right now. They've both got a pretty good stock of these things. So if you want you one of these, you can get you one of these right now. The 9mm M&P 2.0 OR Series Spec Kit from Smith & Wesson is just a great little 9mm pistol. It's a full-size pistol, but it's not overly bulky. It's not so big that you can't hardly carry it around. It's still relatively lightweight, a little over 27 ounces if I remember correctly. But uh, these are just great pistols. I highly recommend you check these out at smith-wesson.com.